In today's video, I am going to be reviewing some wool, wool blends, and mohair from Hobie, which is an online yarn shop based in Copenhagen, Denmark. I've been curious about Hobie for a long time, but I was always under the impression that they mostly sold cottons and acrylic yarns, other synthetic blends. So when they reached out to me, I was super excited to do a deep dive into their inventory and I'm really pleased with what I found. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for a coupon code. Full disclosure, Hobie did send me these yarns to try out and review for you today, um, but they did not pay me and all opinions are completely my own. Now there are some yarns on this list that do contain polyamide, but I feel like the lower percentages of polyamide are acceptable when it comes to lending strength and durability to the yarns, especially for more hard wearing projects like socks. The first yarn I picked out was the Unicorn Sock Yarn, which is a hand dyed speckled fingering light yarn made of 75% non-superwash wool and 25% polyamide. This yarn comes in eight different colorways and the one that I chose is called Giving. The skeins are 100 grams each and they give you 400 meters or 437 yards, which is perfect for a pair of socks. I really love these yarns with lots of different speckles and color variegations, but I do find that sometimes, depending on the project and depending on how you use it, the projects can end up a little bit busy or fussy. And sometimes you can also end up with some really unfortunate pooling. It can also be a bit difficult to see any stitch patterns that you use. What I like to do with variegated yarns or yarns with a lot of speckling is to break up any chance of color pooling with another yarn, um, especially a solid yarn. Luckily, the Unicorn line does come in an accompanying Unicorn Solid, which comes in 27 different colors. Now the Unicorn Solid is a superwash yarn, which is not my favorite, but it does make for great gifting yarn. I chose the color Lemon to complement the little bits of yellow in my giving colorway. With these two yarns, I decided to knit a pair of striped vanilla socks so that you can really see how these two yarns play together. I've been knitting five rounds for each color, and as you can see, I used the Giving colorway for the top cuff and the Lemon for the heel, which is an eye of the partridge heel. The Giving colorway is creating these really interesting subtle stripes in some places and also some patches of the speckling. Something about all of these colors together makes me think of pansies. <laughs> the sock just looks like a beautiful spring garden to me and it's really motivating me to keep knitting. My plan was for this video to only knit a few inches of this and uh, I just couldn't stop. It's been really fun to knit with. The progress of my sock here um, has been blocked even though it isn't finished. Um, but yeah, it just feels like a pretty standard merino and polyamide sock yarn. During the blocking process, there wasn't any dye runoff or fading or color bleeding, but admittedly, I do have some pretty light colors. The only thing I did notice about this yarn is that there were a couple spots where the yarn had almost been like loosely spun. Like there was a little bump of roving and I'm not sure that that would really affect anything. The spot was so small. Um, I actually tried to pick it out in my knitting to show you and I can't see it anymore. So I think that'll be fine, but just something to keep in mind if um, that's the sort of thing that concerns you. Overall, I would say it's just a really beautiful, soft, smooth, standard sock yarn. I think it is exactly what you would expect of this type of fiber blend. And if I were to knit with this yarn again, I think the colorways I would go with would either be the curious or the graceful. I think those are gorgeous. 
I am mostly a sweater knitter, so what I really wanted to find was just a good, soft, 100% wool, non-superwash yarn. And that is where Hobie's Highland Wool comes in. Peruvian Highland Sheep are a crossbreed between Merino and Coriadale, so the yarn is both soft and strong, which is perfect for a sweater. This yarn comes in 31 different colors, and it is a light worsted or a DK weight yarn, and it comes in 50 gram balls that are 175 meters or 191 yards each. As far as I can tell, every color in the Highland Wool line, except for perhaps the eggshell colorway, is slightly heathered. I chose the color Chili, which is this really beautiful deep red that leans ever so slightly on the rusty side of red. I have become increasingly interested in v-neck sweaters lately, and I've never actually knit a v-neck pullover. So I think what I'm going to knit is the Avero pullover by Orlain Souche. I already own the pattern, and I think that the weight of this yarn will work with the gauge really nicely. I do really love the thin stripes in the pattern, but I think for my version, I will just keep it solid and have the entire sweater knit up in this lovely chili color. I've been making a lot of very wooly, warm sweaters, and I think what I really want to make right now is just a slightly more lightweight easy sweater that I could also wear well into the spring, and I feel like this yarn is perfect for that. It doesn't bloom very much after blocking, and my swatch just feels very smooth. I know that my swatch is only stockinette, but I feel like the stitch definition on this yarn is really beautiful, and it would look really great with cables or textured stitches. There are a ton of colors in the Highland Wool that I would love to knit with. I think my top choices right now are Cappuccino, Wintergreen, and Peppercorn. I am so happy I got this though. I love this chili color and I cannot wait to have a sweater made out of this. Next up is another sock or fingering white yarn from Hobie's line called Dream Color. I haven't actually knit a whole lot of socks in my life, but I've heard from a lot of other knitters that it can sometimes be really difficult to find a good sock yarn that doesn't have any nylon and is non superwash. The Dream Color yarn comes in 100 gram balls that give you 400 meters or 437 yards. There are 24 different colorways, and they all feature multicolored strands of yarn and a gradient. I chose the color Unicorn. It really stood out against all of the other colors, and I think I've just really been wanting some light-colored, whimsical socks in my life. With this yarn, I have started to knit the Daisy Socks, which is a free pattern by Debbie Ford and it features this really sweet feather and fan design going down the front of the sock. I have experienced the same thing as the unicorn sock yarns that I mentioned previously, where there have been a couple loosely spun spots. And I think my only other complaint about this yarn is that the colors have shown up a little bit more dull and muted than I expected from the color on the website. But to be fair, um, I've only knit a few inches as you can see, so it is possible that some of the brighter shades inside this gradient are just deeper into the ball and I just haven't reached it yet. Other than that though, I'm really happy with this yarn. I'm really excited to have some 100% wool socks. My sock has been knitting up really easily. The yarn is really great to work with. It feels really good on my hands and it definitely softens up after a good soak. The yarn that I think I was most excited to try is Hobie's Dolce Cashmere. This is a blend of 65% wool, 25% polyamide, and 10% cashmere. 
In my excitement to find a cashmere yarn, my brain somehow glossed over the fact that the wool is super wash, so just keep that in mind. It is a hand wash only yarn, so I'm not sure if that has to do with the cashmere content. These balls of yarn are 200 grams each, which gives you 770 meters or 842 yards. It is listed as a sport weight yarn, but I don't agree with that at all. I think it is absolutely a fingering weight yarn. It is another gradient yarn from Hobie, and I think the most popular use for this yarn is to make a shawl, which is a really great project to show off the smooth color changes. It comes in 16 different colors, and the one that I chose is called Cold Hawaii. I do need some hand holding when it comes to color, so this colorway just seemed like it would be the easiest to incorporate into my life. The only thing I'll say I was not expecting about this colorway is that there is some pretty lime green in the center of this ball, which definitely looks a lot more subtle on the website. I did knit up a little stockinette swatch of this yarn. Um, this is the gray bit that is in the very center of the ball. It does look like it is totally gray and it looks that way in the ball as well but when you look at it separated from the rest of the ball it definitely has like a very slight sagey green tinge to it which is really lovely. I did use three and a half millimeter needles for this and it's not a very tight gauge so yeah this yarn is definitely fingering. My original plan for this yarn was 100% inspired by a Ravelry user who combined this yarn in this color with a like a petroleum blue mohair silk yarn to knit up a cumulus blouse by Petite Knit. The gradient in the Dolce Cashmere yarn is super gradual, which I think can make it a little bit difficult to work with for garments, especially when you need to split the yarn and go back to work on your sleeves. It will divide up the gradient and your sleeves, your two sleeves likely won't look the same unless you partake in some pretty intense yarn management. But the Blue Mohair Edition really does a great job of blending those color changes and also further softening the color gradient. So with that in mind, I did pick up some Hobie Friends Kid Silk in the color Deep Ocean. It is a pretty typical lace weight mohair yarn, except that it does have a very small percentage of wool. It is 72% mohair, 25% silk, and 3% wool. It comes in 25 gram balls that are 200 meters or 218 yards each. It comes in 30 different colors, and like I said, I chose the color Deep Ocean. It's a really gorgeous blue shade, um, but based on the website, I was expecting it to be just a little bit more saturated. I did knit up a second swatch so that you can see how the Dolce Cashmere and the Friends Kids Silk work up together. As you can see, I have knit up some stripes for you just so that you can really see um, how that mohair can really blend even some harsh lines of stripes. Now I will say I was not willing to pull these balls of yarn apart so that you could see what the middle sections look like with the mohair. I'm sorry, you'll just have to use your imagination a little bit. So the swatch that I've knit, um, it does have that middle sagey gray shade and then also um, a rather light green that is found on the outside of the ball. But I still think it gets the point across. I think the blue looks really lovely with both the green and the gray. I haven't 100% landed on what I'm going to make with these, definitely still considering like a slightly heavier weight cumulus blouse, but I just feel like any sweater at all would be absolutely lovely in this yarn combination. Hobie's website is really easy to navigate with lots of filtering options to find what you're looking for. There are reviews and user submitted photos, so you can see what other people think before you buy. 
I like that the full fiber contents are displayed under each thumbnail. The only thing is, just be sure to check the product page for superwash treatment if that's important to you. Hobie has over 700 knitting patterns and over a thousand crochet patterns, many of which are free. If you join Hobie Plus, their monthly subscription, you get three of their paid patterns for free and extra gifts and discounts on your yarn orders. In summary, Hobie is a great option if you want to work with some more luxurious yarns, but you don't necessarily need the top tier best of the best. If you have some flexibility in mind with your color choices, you won't be disappointed. I was really impressed that they carry some hand-dyed sock yarn, and I feel like the Highland wool is great for a smooth, reliable, standard sweater yarn. Hobie is offering my viewers a 5% coupon that can be used between December 1st and December 7th. I will have that coupon code on the screen and in the description box for you. The coupon does combine with other discounts and deals on their website, so if you've got your eye on anything, it is a good time to try it out. If you would like to see more about the projects that I have talked about today, how they work up, how they look when they're finished, you can check out the Mare Makes Knitting Podcast here on this channel, which is where I talk about everything that I knit. If you've worked with Hobie Yarns before, let me know what your experience has been like. I would love to hear how your projects have held up, what yarns you've tried. If you've got any recommendations for me, what I should try next, I would love to hear it. Give me those recommendations. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you next time. 